Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we are going to be checking out a little uh, first person horror slash puzzle adventure game called Bewilder House. It's a little bit difficult to classify this one. I, I think it sort of falls more into the puzzle orientation and maybe a little bit exploration. Uh, more so than the horror element, but th there definitely are some jump scares to be had in here as far as I'm aware, so you may want to be careful of that. I've uh, tried to make the sound as good as possible for that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you the credits real quick as we get started here, because there's actually quite a few people involved with this. Uh, so those of you out there who might have some sort of an inherent fear of clowns, maybe this isn't the right game for you. Or maybe it is, I don't know, if you like to get scared or not. It is uh, Shocktober, after all. Or spooky October, Spooktober, I don't know what we're calling it, but it is one of those months where scary things are supposed to happen constantly, so I want to do my part to make sure that you're, you know, in whatever state of discomfort that you want to be in. So, uh, we are going to start a new game as soon as we get back here to the standard, uh, opening menu here, and the thing to be, uh, aware of is this is sort of like a fun oh, house, look, everybody. and there's also children here. speaking. Here's the new grown-up we found yesterday. He's so tall. Good luck, Mr. Grona. <laughs> He's waking up. Go tell the others. There you go. So the uh, setup actually reminds me a little bit of something almost like Bioshock, in that, uh, you know, there's like mysterious children in a scary world that you're not aware of what's going on, and everybody's kind of conspiring against you or something. It's, I don't know, it's a pretty strange thing to be a part of. Uh, so we'll we'll do a little bit of exploration. Uh, one thing I have to say right off the bat, and I'm not sure if this is the case for everyone, or maybe it's just me, uh, but it doesn't seem like the W key works for some reason, so to walk around I've had to use the arrow keys, which I don't really have a big deal uh, with doing that, or it's not a big deal for me to do that, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's just sort of strange. And also, of course, is a common complaint that I have is that the uh, the mouse didn't capture into the window, so I've had to use windowed mode. I'm going to try my best not to click on my second monitor, because I will then lose focus. Oh, actually, since I'm doing window, it probably won't lose focus. It'll just, I don't know, do something annoying. So anyway, we're going to explore this fun house. Pretty good graphics all over right off the first uh, impression, I would say. Uh, things are definitely colorful. I'll give them that. And there seems to be some decent geometry. Things are, are not exactly the most complex, but they're also not the most simplistic either. Uh, we've got some, like, embossed children or clowns and balloons or, I don't know, maybe plants? No, probably children. Alright, so let's take our funny map here, which is gonna have the guide of how we play the first few rooms anyway, and then I think it opens up and starts to get a little bit more uh, involved with the puzzles. So we need to go down into this section here, as the arrow indicates, and we enter a proper fun house of sorts, although this area is not particularly dangerous. This is just sort of like a tutorial area, so we're gonna wander around, and if we can see all the balloons... As the man over the intercom will explain, uh, when you think you're in the right room, press M. So we can see the, the blue balloon on the right, the yellow balloon in front of us, and the green balloon on our left. So that means we're definitely in the right room. Let's press M. And we win! Alright, we've discovered a whole new world of Funhouse Madness. Only trust the map, it says in Bewilder House. And there are actually going to be some things that try to circumvent common logic. Alright, so there's no more map for us, we're going to take this map instead. This one is uh, a little bit more useful for our next task. Not sure why that thing can't just be updated to use a different set of rooms or layout or something, but what are you going to do? Alright, we're going to have our perceptions tried. I uh, should mention this game is totally free and I think actually quite ambitious. I think for what it is, uh, the little bit I've seen so far, it's definitely grabbed my attention. I don't know what I was expecting, but this seems to be more than that, whatever that was. So we're gonna look for, uh, we've got our frowning and happy masks, our drama masks, or whatever those are called, I don't actually remember, and try and not get too confused about the layout of these rooms. Okay, there seems to be a chest in the way. Is this different, actually? I'm pretty sure this is different. I don't remember there being a chest before. I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. And apparently if we go this way, the chest doesn't seem to be there anymore, so there is uh, some strange stuff happening. I probably just didn't go that way last time and didn't get a chance to see it. So there's a scary face mask. Uh, so what I'm going to do is try and use a little bit of logic here and deduce which room is the dead end, so that should tell me where we are in proportion to where that circled room is. So I see, if we look here, that is a dead end. So that tells me that that is probably the bottom of everything here. So that means 
Uh, if the bottom is facing this way, to my right... Hang on. I'm in this room. I want to go... This way, right? I want to go this way twice and then over. No. Okay, this might be harder than I thought. It's the way that this is all laid out is very complex at times, and we've got all these various uh, things in our way that force us not to go in a straight line. And especially when they keep turning me around like that, it's not really helping much. So I'm gonna look for another signal here of some kind, and now I have to just sort of follow along with the floor, because it is actually pulling me in the other direction. And I'm hoping that, uh, there isn't just another dead end if I keep going around in circles here. Uh-oh. There is actually a dead end in both sides. There's- that's impossible. There's some way that I got in here, right? Ah, there we go. Alright, there's some kind of cutout there. And- oh, what do we have here? Okay, we've got the happy mask. That's good, because this means, uh, if I can figure out which the dead end is in this direction, it's this way. Alright, so now this way for sure... Wait, that's a dead end too? Why are you messing with me like this, man? Okay, actually, maybe it's not as easy as I thought. There's no real logic to this, so you gotta kinda just figure it out. Uh... I don't really know where the grid is gonna let me see things, thanks. This is, oh, before, you can see just fine. Uh, let's wander around a little bit more, so... If I had free reign to walk around through all of these things, that'd be one thing. I don't. The grid seems to be changing up every single time I walk through. And we need to try and adapt. There's not even any doors anymore. Oh, it's gotten harder! Okay, we need to have some kind of way out, otherwise this isn't gonna be very fun. What triggers it to change the doors open and close? I'm not really sure about that. Uh, there is a good degree of detail in some of these rooms as well. I mean, we've got these, like, moving lights. We've got the floor actually moves and moves you around with it. The pillars, well, pillars are not that big of a deal, but the ceiling actually looks pretty nice. And some of these, uh, decals and the, the orientation of things reminds me a little bit of Kiss Psycho Circus, which is, uh, probably a little bit of a strange correlation to make, but it's, uh, a game that is sort of near and dear to me in a weird way. And one that I've actually Let's Played on the channel, believe it or not, so you might want to go check that out, maybe, if you're into this, uh, clown-themed stuff for the day. Uh, so we've got some strange chairs here, which I can't seem to sit in. If we could just, like, find... a way to not have all the rooms change for five seconds, that would be useful. But it is a fun house, so we're here to have fun. Uh, where am I going? Is it timed? I really want to figure out what it is that causes the rooms to change, because I want to be able to sort of manipulate that a little bit if possible. Uh, maybe going around one of these pillars does it? Because right now we're stuck in a sort of a continual loop of there aren't any places that I can see to go to. Oh, did it just switch? I thought I just saw a door for a split second, but I think it's changed. Okay, now I can get out this way. Map, I wish you were more useful. I mean, you're useful enough, but... With everything changing so often, it's really hard to keep it straight in your head as to where you were when you saw the thing that you saw. Okay, can we find anything now? At least there's a few rooms we can go to. Okay, we found something. Alright, so we've got the smiley mask, so three steps below us, in whatever direction that's going to be, should be our goal. But I don't know which direction that is, because I can't see through any of the doors. Um... Maybe I should do some loops here. Uh, all the doors are gone again. Well, trust me, if you can figure it out, it's pretty rewarding, but um, right now it's a little bit more frustrating than anything. I also really like this eye thing, it's like... Runs the, uh, runs the line pretty well between creepy and just stylized. It actually fits in really well with this theme. Uh, it sort of functions a little bit like something out of Zelda. Like, it sort of reminds me a little bit of those laser eyeball things. Um, do those even have a name? Sort of realizing, like, I'm not sure they do. Now, I'm wondering what happens if you pick the wrong room. Does it, like, punish you, or anything happen? Like, what if I just decide I'm gonna hit M right here? Oh, what's, what's all this about, then? Oh. That's weird. Did I actually get it right? I think I did go three spaces. 
I don't know, maybe wherever you go you end up here. <laughs> Could be the trap. So we've got our bathrooms with some pretty strange looking figures on them. Couch that looks like lips, kind of. I would hang out here. It's a pretty wacky place. Alright, let's put the map down, and we will grab another map, probably, because that's usually what happens. And this room seems to be locked. This is the, the clown's locked room, the wacky door frame. Alright, get the next maze's map. Okay, let's do that. But we gotta fall down this tube first, like we're going to, uh, sort of a water park or something. So use your eyes, it says. Alright, so as long as you're looking at this statue thingy, it should open. He follows you when you don't look. Oh, okay. So, there he is. Scary clown man. So I guess if I, uh, take my eyes off of him, he's probably gonna chase me down. This is a pretty strange, uh, twist on the SCP formula. Alright, so now the door is shut. Starting to remind me a little bit of, like, oh, he got me. That actually jumped, made me jump a little bit. Uh, reminds me a little bit of 13 Ghosts in that scene with, like, the glass panels opening and closing, so I guess we're just gonna restart that sequence right from there. Uh, so this is sort of a different spin on what we were starting, we were starting to get used to, uh, was gonna be the case each time, where we are gonna get a map and then have to navigate some sort of, like, crazy maze. I expected it, and yet that sound still made me jump a little bit. Alright, so, how do I not get killed? Oh, he's standing right there! Oh, like, for once, he actually does follow you. That's interesting. Usually these things are just scripted. Uh, alright, look at me. There we go. Got through. So he's- is he actually gonna, like- Oh yeah, he totally just walks. Oh, it's way more creepy when you can see that he actually walks. Uh, you won't escape next time. Did I even escape this time? Oh, I guess I did. Oh yeah, he totally just walks in the doorway. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh god, we went back down. If I look away from this thing, yeah, you can totally see, like, what happens if I try to mess with this a little bit? Is he gonna be standing, like, right next to the, the platform? Oh yeah, he is. Oh, there's, like, a secret in here or something. Oh god. <laughs> Probably shouldn't mess with this. Alright, let's go. Let's just leave. Let's go up to the next room. Alright, there we go. New map! Last one was hard enough, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to handle much more than that. So you got some, like, nice mosaic floor patterns. Uh... Now, if he follows me when I don't look, where is that happening? Does he follow me all the time? And also, can I go back? Not that I want to go back, but I'm just kinda curious. Huh, looks like it's, uh... Locked in, okay. So let's go... Oh, there's a vent. Is there a vent here? Can I go through this? Trying my usual crouch buttons doesn't seem to be doing much. Okay, evidently not. It looked like there was something modeled on the other side. It looks like a bunch of slices of bread, but that's probably not what's there. Alright, let's enter the next maze. No idea how long this game is. I probably uh, will wrap this up a little bit after this next sequence of whatever's going on. Ooh, pretty. Very colorful. Oh god, he's gonna chase me through one of these mazes now. Seriously? I guess that's appropriately strange and creepy. Alright, so there's like this... floating orb in a cage, and I'm gonna have to keep making sure that I look... I just wanna see like how quickly he moves, if I look away. Oh, he moves pretty quickly! Alright, so we've got a little bit of that like... blink... crying angels statue thing uh, as well in this. Except those you have to look at. Wait, no, it's same thing. Same thing. Uh, so we need to be right next to... Oh, and I don't even know when these gates are gonna disappear or manipulate each other, so, like, I don't know which direction I should be looking in really. Oh, God! <laughs> the way he, like, wiggled made me totally jump. He just sort of fell out of the air. Um, yeah, I don't know where he's coming from each time. And the doors keep disappearing when I don't look at them, so I don't know how to, like, navigate this. I'm just going in circles now. And he's gonna keep jumping at me. Um, there's no point of reference. Like, I don't know how to go to other rooms if I can't look away. I guess I just have to be real fast. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a room I could go to. What is that? It's a blinding teleportation laser. Oh my god, and he just flies out of the wall. Why does he keep teleporting me? I guess he's gonna be right behind me, right? Oh my god. This is pretty intense. 
Uh, I don't know where the, the proper room is. I'm just gonna press M here and see what happens. Oh! Does it, tell me, it tells me where I am, and then he just spawns. What if I need to go in this room? Can I, I can just, like, hang out with him. He just won't... He won't kill me, right? Oh, his head turns all the way around? Is that really for real? Looks like it. I guess that's kind of appropriate that his head would turn all the way around. So every time I'm wrong, it seems to just move me to another random location, which makes a lot of sense. I could just sort of trial and error through this. Is it actually telling me where I went? What is your problem, dude? Alright, I don't know how to get any kind of point of reference from these things, and that's gonna just probably teleport me again. I didn't look at it. Fine. It's okay. Guys, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna make it through this horrible clown situation. Uh, don't look at the teleporter. I'm just gonna press M here. Okay, we were close that time. And he just flings himself out of the wall again. Um... Oh, I got teleported. Oh, he's right behind me. Okay, really have no idea where I am at all. Like, I can't even really start to formulate any sort of a plan with all these variables going on. Apparently I'm, like, as far away as I can be. I'm just gonna, like, run away for a minute. Oh, he's gonna be in here, too. I guess if I keep moving, maybe I'd be okay to walk for a little while. Can I see any- if I could see two of these orange balls in a cage at the same time, I would have a chance. And I think the door just disappeared, of course, so I'm gonna have to, like, walk right next to him. Oh, no, there's the door. Alright, orange ball is in that room. Calm down, clown man. Is there another one in here? No. Is there even a door? I was like, I'm backing around everything. I feel like I'm in that auto-tune song. I'm backing up. Does he even follow? Oh, he just, like, disappears as soon as he's off the screen, doesn't he? Doesn't seem to follow any sort of, uh, physics. But I guess he really doesn't need them. The physics. Whatever the physics are. You just, like, walk right past him. What if I just, like, walk into him? Will he kill me? Probably. Yeah, he kills me. He's a little faster than I am walking. Uh, that's the appearance that I get anyway. So, uh, I don't know. I guess that's Bewilder House. I probably shouldn't play too much more of this. Uh, the jump scares are, uh, pretty crazy, like, they seem to happen constantly. Oh, I teleported the same time he appeared. So if you are into creepy games, I'd say you could do a lot worse than the Wilder House. Oh my god, why does he do that with his legs? So creepy and weird. Does he even cast dynamic shadows, too, when this spins? I think he might. This is a Unity game, so there's a pretty good likelihood that that is the case. Just want to see one more pass on that. Oh yeah, it totally does. Yeah, totally a good idea. If you're gonna do, uh, horror stuff... Dynamic Shadows, totally go for it. Um, anyway, that's going to pretty much do it for Bewilder House. Uh, I would love to know if you guys can get through this crazy challenge. I mean, it's really, it's surreal. The freaking chair is up on the wall. The, everything's shifted around. I, don't, I haven't had a good chance to look around at the walls and ceiling. I've been so focused on not looking at the wrong dude at the wrong moment. Yeah, I keep ending up in that corner, evidently. Uh, but I, I'm pretty impressed, honestly, with this game. I mean, I didn't know what to expect from it, but I like the premise of it. Uh, I wish it was drawn out a little bit longer, but I have a feeling this is probably, like, the last challenge, or maybe there's, like, one more thing after this, if that. Uh, so I would love to know what happens after this, if I could ever finish it. Uh, maybe one day I will. Oh, I hit M again, but I guess I was in the wrong zone anyway. Oh no, it teleported me right before I hit the button. You know, it's it's not quite as much of a jump scare if he's waiting around every single corner. Maybe he should be, like, a little less frequent. I don't know. I'm not one to, uh... Well, for horror games, I have plenty of criticisms, but I'm not always the best to uh, judge, so... Yeah, I'm really bad at this also. So you guys let me know, what do you think of Bewilder House? It is totally free to play and download. I will put the link in the description, so go ahead and grab it. Let me know if you were able to finish it, although not necessarily... Uh, don't go ahead and spoil it necessarily, because there could be... You know, people that don't really know that information, but if you want to, like, PM me or, like, send me something on Twitter or whatever, that is fine. Although Twitter probably would expose to even more people. Could you stop flying out of the freaking wall clock? Yeah, I probably should have, like, looked at him as I walked around him. Anyway, yeah, check out the game in the description. I'll stop saying that repetitively now, and I'll just stare this clown right in the eyeball. There he goes. Yeah, he got me. Look into his eyes. That's how it goes. Alright, so yeah. Try the game. 
Check out all the stuff in my social media links. Check out indie-impressions.com if you like. Leave any support you'd like. I do appreciate all of that. And of course, leave plenty of comments and suggestions, and I will get back to you next time. New episodes of Indie Impressions are every single day, so if you enjoyed what you saw here, uh, make sure you come back again tomorrow, because I will do another episode, as I've often done for the last 550-plus days. So I will catch you back for that, and I hope you have a lovely night, guys. Later! So close.